program. I love that song. I love that song because that song means we are back. Welcome, welcome to Ministry of the Arts. I am your host, Cliff Gober. We got another fantastic show for you. So don't touch that dial. I don't care what's on those other cable channels. This is where you want to be. Amen. Before we start, let's have a word of prayer. Father, we thank you again for this opportunity to share ministry uh, situations and backgrounds and information. We just declare, God, that everything that you want this broadcast to be, it shall be in the name of Jesus. Let, ever, of let Jesus. hearts be touched. Let people be encouraged. Thank let you. minds be changed and altered where ministry and artistic endeavors are concerned. We open this up to you by your Holy Spirit. We declare it to be so in Jesus' name. Jesus Thank God. Name. Amen. Amen. All right. I'm, I'm feeling a little confident. So instead of one guest today, we have two guests. Amen. They are a husband and wife team. They are a wonderful, wonderful uh, pair of godly people. Recently have met them over the past few months, and they have already blessed me just by the way they are and the way they flow. So let me stop talking. And without further ado, <laughs> welcome to the show, Minister Wayne and Sheila Arnold. Thank Hello. You. How, you, How you doing? Thank you, thank you guys very doing? much. Very well. Good to have you guys. Well. It's our pleasure. Like I said, I missed the wardrobe memo. You guys got the brown and the beige and the, the sand color motif and here I am in drab green and black. Oh, believe me, I love to be that way more so than this. Really. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. Thank you once again for coming on it's the show. It's our pleasure. Thank really you. Really appreciate mm -hmm. it. So let's dive right in. Wayne, tell us about yourself, man. Who are you? Where are you from? How your mom and them doing? Well, Give us they, the whole thing. It, it, they're doing very well. Uh, I'm from Detroit, Michigan by birth. Uh, my dad actually moved to Ohio when doing a big... Uh, auto movement back okay. in, in, okay. in the day, but I thank God for being able to come from Ohio to California and uh, got a chance to meet a lot of people, been able to do a lot of things that I've dreamed of doing, and uh, I actually got baptized at First Apostolica in Inglewood in 1987. Okay, okay. And so uh, that's been my road, although I came from the traditional church. Uh, it was just a life-changing thing with me. So you've been in California for how long now? About 23 and a half years, okay, okay, off and on. Okay, mm -hmm. fantastic. Now, what is it that you do artistically? You, you sing, you write, you... Right. I, uh, God has blessed me with multiple gifts and being able to uh, had an opportunity to go to the Fillmore School of Music in Hollywood. Okay. But I've been in, you know, I've been singing all my life. So a lot of my aspirations, like I stated, was to, you know, just to be able to do what I could do as far as on the commercial market of music. But God had another plan. Ah, all right. of us incorporated in one, but right. He had another plan, right. and that plan was ministry. Excellent, excellent. Yes. So you minister through singing. Uh, Basically, the singing part of my ministry is is a big part of what God has me do. Uh, along with the actual word, but I've mm -hmm. also just thank him for showing me that uh, you know he gave gifts on the men, mm -hmm. but the word takes precedence over all of that singing. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. uh, being able to uh, through a, a lot of pain and uh, being under a lot of anointed men get a focus on what I supposed to do and how to balance the both out with the ah. word and the music. And see, balance is so important, man, because yes. a lot of times, even in the body of Christ, we find ourselves so focused on one thing that other yeah. things get out of balance. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I think we come from a similar generation where you had certain sections of, of denominations where they're in church five, six days a week, Sure. you know, and, and, and other things got out of balance. Yeah. And so we want to be able to balance all of that stuff so yes. we can fully be sure. who God has called us to be. Amen. Now, I know you can't fully be who God has called <laughs> you to be without that rib, yeah. without that good thing that obtained the favor from the Lord. You with. Know that, 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 Cliff, that's one part that I really, really uh, under, is beginning to understand, I should say, is not only does a man that find a wife find a good thing that obtains favor of the Lord, like you just stated, but that favor is, is something that I have 
uh, been so blessed with to see mm. that when she's by my side and, and really coaching me along and encouraging me mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, to step out there all the way in the ministry. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's not just about singing with her because right. she sings also. So right, right. it wasn't just the singing. Right. So God did have a plan uh, how we met uh, uh, after being with one person for, I think, 24 years. And wow. that uh, had a really kind of uh, bad ending and being celibate for about mm -hmm. seven. Mm -hmm. I think she heard that celibacy that I was in through some friends of hers and then wanted to know more about who, who this guy is. Yeah, how, how am I doing it? You know, <laughs> and is he real? You know, so uh, she could probably say that better. Yeah, let's yeah. make a change because that's a, that's a nice, she didn't want to talk about how you guys met. We <laughs> talked in the green room, but, but this, is a, this is a nice topic. So as a woman, you hear word that this guy has been celibate for how long? Actually, five and a half, almost seven. Okay. Now, for those of you who are not sure what celibate means, it means, we're on cable, right? We can say this on cable. Sure. Not having any sex for five and a half years. It can be done. It sure can. I'm not even going to get into my testimony, but it can be done. So, <laughs> That's right. you, you, you hear about this guy, and, yes. and, and what did you think about this now? What I knew and believed that this is a man after God's heart mm -hmm. and that's exactly what I was looking for um, I was in a marriage as well for mm -hmm. 14 years mm -hmm. and um, 10 years after that I was divorced and I just desired to be obedient and want to be with who God wanted me to be with mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and they didn't know what they were telling me mm -hmm. but God knew what was being said through what they said mm -hmm. to basically um, bear witness to what it is that he desired for me to mm -hmm. have mm -hmm. and of course he came and said to me that um, a man that finds a wife finds a good thing and also obtains favor of God mm -hmm. and it's in those three it's just like the Father Son and the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. and so I just really uh, thank God for that and and we talked for a while we were friends for a while mm -hmm. for about two or three years mm -hmm. um, he was in Georgia mm -hmm. and I was here mm -hmm. and uh, he came back and forth um, endeavoring in his music as well as the word mm -hmm. so that's how we met through somebody else didn't know what they was telling me but it was the Lord and you caught the revelation. Me, I got the revelation yes Lord <laughs> <laughs> and you guys have been married now for how long we got married September 2005 okay wow wow now when I met you guys there was such a sense of support Sheila coming from you it just felt like you guys had been a team like this for much longer than just the two years. So when you just told me this early in the green room, I'm like, what? <laughs> two years? Mm -hmm. So how has it been? It's, 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 cause it's because it's still relatively new, even though you guys have been married before. Absolutely. Yes. There's, exactly. there's still a newness to this because I sense that you did it, for lack of a better phrase, the right way this time. Right. Amen. I'm just making That's an right. assumption. So what, what's it like? Either one of you guys can, uh, can address this. One of the this. things, Cliff, that, that I, I, I found out uh, in that waiting period that being able to, after being with someone for a number of years, the dating thing was clumsy to me. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, uh, you know, you just want to, don't, when, especially when you've been hurt in the other situation and you've got kids involved, and, uh, which, is, which is an ugly situation right. in itself. Right. But the thing that, that really, really God had me focus in on is being able to wait on him. Uh -huh. uh, and I think that one of God's sons deserves one of his daughters. I know that's right. We <laughs> all family anyway. Right. Right. <laughs> yes, right. yes, See, right. how has it been for you now? It's been um, different and it's been beautiful. And it's like when I um, met him I, a while back, I always said, I, I'm not going to marry a minister. Mm -hmm. You know, because you hear all these different things. Mm -hmm. And we have a lot in common. We both are in entertainment field. We both sing. Mm -hmm. We both are musically inclined. Mm -hmm. And... Um, I danced, so there's a lot of things that we had, and I there was a prerequisite, and um, he didn't know it. So when he, when these things came about, then I knew that okay, God, you gave me what I asked for and more, right, and right, He knows right. what's best for us, you know. So right. it's been um, also a lot of people call us a, a very um, comedic 
couple. A couple. Uh -huh. <laughs> because we, we are, we, uh -huh. you know, we be very comical to people. Right, right, and so, right. and that was another thing that I just thank God. He goes above and aboard. You know, he gives you abundance. When you ask for Absolutely. something, it's what you're looking for. But he said, okay, he gives us much more than what we Absolutely. ask for. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, I just thank God for you guys, man. Because just in the few months that I've known you, uh, you are a wonderful uh, example of a team working together. Thank you. And, and that's a cool thing. All right. So this is not the marriage show. This okay. is, this is hey, Ministry man. of the Arts. <laughs> yeah. So uh, let's talk a little bit about the artistic endeavor. Uh, what have you been doing? What I, I was reading your bio, and you work with quite a few people. Uh, That's true. Smokey Robinson, Jackson Five, and James Ingram, and all of these different people. Mickey Howard. So, have you been singing background with these people? Were you singing headlining, or what? Well, what is various things? A lot doing? of those. A lot of that that time uh, period in my life was doing a lot of session work. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, out here it is it, kind of difficult when you don't get into a particular circle mm -hmm. where you're actually doing it with some consistency so you can you can actually take care of your responsibilities by continually working with consistency. But uh, the door has been open with a lot of writing for me, mm -hmm. a lot of writing and producing. But now, Cliff, uh, you know, there's one CD that I, I did that a lot of church people had got their hands on. God has really blessed with that. Mm -hmm. But as far as my myself, I'm still believing God, even with the new stuff that's, that we're doing now. Uh, one of the singers that I've, I have some stuff out on is Helen Baylor, mm -hmm. who graced us with, with such a big, uh, blessed rendition of what she's done on one of the songs. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, you know, as God's moving me to be grounded and, and stay focused on the ministry part of it, now I'm able to go in and do my own CD uh, the way that I've always wanted to that's do it awesome. with some quality people. And so we're looking forward to that. That's awesome. I had mentioned to you uh, uh, how he gave me the concept of fighting while wounded. Right. We're going to talk about that a little later. Now, for those who are not sure what session work means, explain that to the audience. Well, what session, well, session work is, is, is uh, uh, what musicians do on, on uh, recording sessions, okay. or whether it be a background or a live session, or you're doing a a track date so that's what that, that entails that is so you go in you've got a part that you're supposed to sing absolutely. with background or whatever right and then they put you on the mic and you lay down your track <laughs> and they say thank you very much and then you you, you do it about four or five times right as you, know, as you well know it's according to who producing it right you right know, sometimes right, they right. want one or two takes if you don't do that then next right. <laughs> <laughs> so you know it's been pretty challenging but it's a lot of fun especially when you get with the right people and right. They, they really respect your gift and know what it takes to get the best out of you right and so uh, what are some of your favorite artists that you work with I, I would say one of the favorite is, is James. James Ingram. Yeah, you know, we both came out here in the same band, and God has, has just blessed him uh, so much with right. what he's doing. Right. Uh, and so he's one of my favorites uh, from coming out of the city that I grew up now, in. Now, it was something funk, something? Yeah, Revelation Funk. How did you know? Oh, ah. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. no, no. I, <laughs> yeah, I saw a thing years ago on Quincy Jones. Right. And they were talking about James Ingram and Patty Austin and all these people. Right. And they mentioned that, because I remember he's from Ohio. Absolutely. And they mentioned mm -hmm. the name of the group that he had. I just remember right. Funk. I right, that was it. us. But that could have <laughs> been like 50 groups in the right, 60s right, and so everybody right, was Funk right, something, right? right. right. <laughs> and God, God really took me back and, and showed me uh, the music that we were doing. But when you talk about Revelation yeah. and the group's name being Revelation Funk, I said, wait a minute. <laughs> <You know? laughs> so it, it was a lot of fun. So he's one of my favorite. Of course, one of your favorites, too, is Carl Anderson. Yes, yes. And Carl yes. and I, well, God bless him, he's went on with the Lord. Uh, I've done a lot of work with him and Andy Howard, Russ Freeman. Mm -hmm. And it, it goes on, you know. So That's those great, are some man. of my favorites. So, uh, you know, it goes on. That's Gospel, great. there's so many. Fred Hammond. Uh, Dietrich Hammond, and it goes on. So That's I have great. a lot of favorites of my own that, that, that I, through their ministry and their music, it encouraged me to keep doing That's what I'm excellent. doing. Well, you know what? Those folks aren't here, but you are. Okay. Uh, we've got uh, a cut from one of your songs, and uh, we want to listen to that. And then once we hear a little bit of that, we're going to come back and we're going to talk about it. And, and uh, so let's cue that up and let's Praise give a God. listen to Wayne Arnold, Praise as they used to say in church, in his own way. Amen. <laughs> Second Timothy one five.
my mother told me about a man named Jesus Give his life for me Had a chip on my shoulder How daddy treated her She said, son, don't worry about it Gonna pray for you Father, I come to you in Jesus' name Let your spirit fall on and something in me change Chills start running like hot water down my face I tried to run but I couldn't get away The Holy Ghost had me Yeah, 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 you still got a little bit of the funk in there though, man Yeah, when you come from that school, it's kind of Hard to turn it loose yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yes, now, sir. as I was listening to that, that was great, by the way. Thank now, what you. was the title of that track? Praying Kind of Mother. Praying Kind of Mother. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. And what the genesis of that, This now, this was this something that actually happened to you? Your mother, was it your mother who introduced you to Jesus? or? Yes, it was. You know, I come from a, a, a gospel background, but the song was actually created in uh, one of the pastors that I love dearly, Pastor Dan Zan, mm -hmm. when I was babysitting his house when his family was going on vacation. Mm -hmm. But, but by having that quiet time with my, my wife and I, you know, of course, with reading and the song was really birthed that. But, but the whole story about the song is about moms that, as you well know, stand up a lot of times when right. men don't stand in their right. rightful place. Right. Right. So uh, I wanted something to address that, uh, not just on Mother's Day, but it's applicable all the time Absolutely. with moms who stand in the gap for, for us. And, and, and we both know that prayers do work and I had that kind of mother that would always pray for me encourage me and be right there so I wanted something to not only she's 83 years old mm. and to be able to just let a lot of other moms uh, that do the same thing in this innumerable amount of, of women that do that right, right. and so that song kind of really address what they do for we so we don't have to forget about them and just embrace them for what they do you know, there's a lot of other kind of songs that, that, that it can be said about moms. There's a lot of good stuff out there, but that one God gave me, and I think it came straight from the throne. No, it's great, man, because, you know, the mother is the backbone of so many yes, families uh, yes, in is. our country. And we know for generations that in the African-American community, in, in the black community, the mother has been the backbone, and the grandmother, yes, and sir. big mama, Absolutely. and on and on. Right. But we also yeah. see that in other cultures also. Absolutely. That the mother is that literally the backbone of, of that family. You absolutely right. Yeah. Now Sheila, okay, I'm listening to that track now and and I'm listening to him sing and I'm 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 feeling how you're appreciating <laughs> your man Amen. and how well yeah. he sings. Yes. So now so now I don't want to I don't want to get too far out of the spiritual. Right. But in the natural, what is it like to hear him sing and to hear him mu hear, hear his music? What is what does that do to you? It's like a, a a uh, breath of fresh air for me to he's so talented and he's has he has about a four octave range yes and um when he sings and there's times when um i might be going through some things and i i, I need something to lift me up i love music mm -hmm. and um it really really um is anointed and it, and it blesses my spirit and my soul when he sings that's and it's, it's just wonderful and to have someone that you're married to yeah. that you know you can just say things about and it's effortless you don't have to conjure up anything you can just say what it is mm -hmm. and um, um, when I heard him before I, I just knew that he was anointed the, his vocals the and come from the spirit when I first heard him mm -hmm. sing mm -hmm. and like I said this is something that he did not know was aware that I, I've heard him sing before mm -hmm. and um, I just wanted to know the person that God had instilled this this talent in, mm -hmm. and along mm -hmm. with the, the ministry and the word. Right. You can't you can't really ask for anything more. Yeah. Just yeah. to have a package to overall. Yeah. Now, are there times when you get to take advantage of being a wife and hear songs <laughs> that only he sings to you that that are just between you guys? Oh, yes, definitely. Okay. Definitely. Okay. So. Right. He and serenades me. <laughs> <laughs> he does. Now, when I met you 
It was at our good friend Pastor Andrews' church. Shout out right. to Pastor Andrews. Right, absolutely. How are you guys doing? Absolutely. Good to see you. Uh, Sister Stacy. All of you wonderful people down there. We love you. We appreciate you. So, did I give my shout out to Dr. Lewis? Dr. Dr. Lewis, Lewis, hey girl. Yes. How are you, Bishop Blake? Love all of you guys yeah. over at West Angeles. Yes. Sir. Now, now, when I met you, it was at Pastor Andrews' church. Right. And and talk a little bit about that. How that that's the whole scenario? Because that's when I first heard you sing that Sunday. Right. What. I had met him through another mutual friend who I was ministering to, uh, and she was very, very encouraging about me going and meeting her pastor. Mm -hmm. And at that time, I, I'm fellowshipping, well, actually, I was still seated under Pastor Daniels and Pastor uh, Dan Zan at Faith Christian Fellowship in Hacienda Heights. And one thing about, about, the, about that about that ministry there is they ver they encourage us to take what they instilled in us through God to take it out. Mm -hmm. And so with ministering to, to Pat, uh, she just insisted, she said, Wayne, I need you to come with me to your church. So that's how I got to meet, uh, yeah, ac absolutely, honey, Dr. A, mm -hmm. of course, <laughs> uh, to meet Pastor Andrews and his beautiful wife, Stacy. Yeah, yeah, so. and you got up and sang, and I was like, who is that brother? <laughs> Where'd it come from? Oh my goodness! Just the wonderful range and and the power, and and it seemed like you were a little hesitant to get up and sing that day, but but once Pastor Andrews kind of gave you the green light, but right, you ran. Right. I don't like to be. You know, when I'm at church, don't wave a I can sing flag. Right, right, you right, know, right, 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 move, right. You right. know, because sometimes God said, "I want you to just sit down and listen and be a right. part of what's what's coming across that pulpit." But right. He gave me an opportunity, and I thank God for that because He's very open like that. Yeah. Uh, to let me grace his, his pulpit with the word. And so we become friends, uh, thanking God for what, what uh, he has me doing with him. Mm -hmm. So it was, it's indeed a blessing uh, to be around. Isn't him. it amazing how God just connects he different connects. people? It, it is yes. amazing. You know? It is. And, and I remember when, when Dr. Lewis first met Pastor Andrews at our retreat, that, that the word came to Pastor Andrews, looked around and said, where have you guys been all of our lives? Wow. <laughs> and so at the set time, all of these things, all of these things work together Absolutely. for the good of them that Amen. love the Lord. And, right. and here we are, wow. you know, as, right. a, as a fruit of all of that. Yes. Right. And who knows what else is coming. Great. I, I want to make sure we get another uh, listen to one of your tracks. Um, we got the up-tempo funk, yeah. and now we're going to have a ballad-like gospel song. So that's coming up. And what's the name of this one? More Time up? With You. More Time With You. And that's something that we could never do too much of is more time with God. Absolutely. So mm -hmm. let's take a listen to this track right now as we kind of check out More Time With You. And the weight of it all is causing you to pain. Lord, with humble heart we bow down again Lord, we offer you our praise Please enter in We need more time with you More time alone with you Time to hear you speak Time to feel your peace We need more time Excellent, excellent, yes, excellent. Sir, yes, sir. Simple songs, man. Yes, sir. Not a whole lot of musical gymnastics and running all over the place. Just right. we need more time with you. Absolutely. Simple Absolutely. song. Now, how did the, the genesis of that song come about? One of my friends by the name of Louis Pardini, actually God gave me this, this the concept for the song when I was in Atlanta. And, but I didn't have the music. Mm -hmm. And so when I came out here, of course, I'm always looking for the right music with the right spirit and he connected us and he's he's someone that I met working on Carl Anderson stuff okay so that's really the genesis of it is being able to to be obedient to what God has given me and look for the right feel mm -hmm. uh, that goes along with the music and Excellent. so you know it became a song and I thank God for it. it's been blessing a lot of people yeah man a lot of people yeah that's a powerful mm -hmm. song I thank can just, you just in the hook itself we need more time yes, with sir. you 
Mm -hmm. um, now, quickly, we got a few minutes. I want to talk about a couple of things, one thing that came to mind. Now, Sister Sheila, when he goes forth in ministry, whether it's singing or, or, or preaching the Word of God, what is your role as, as, as a part of the team? My role is, is um, being right there with him as his side his, the, that God has given us. We become one, uh, bone of his bone, flesh of his flesh. And we both minister together. We both mm -hmm. are ministers. Um, okay. um, when I'm called to do word, I give word and also sing and song, minister and song. We both do these together. He's called us to a very, very uh, peculiar and unique ministry mm -hmm. that we both can do as one. I sing with him when he does his songs mm -hmm. and I do background. Mm -hmm. I've also helped to coordinate a lot of his things and make sure the music and, and things are in order yeah. as well as I guess I could say I am the um, everything that he needs for me well, to be. Right about I that. am. Yeah. I am. <laughs> Whatever you need, <laughs> she am that. <laughs> I hear you. So, so what are some of the upcoming projects? Now, cause next, now, now you guys are coming back at some point and, and we're going to hear from you singing some stuff. Because I'm not having it. So okay. there you oh go. <laughs> okay. okay. So what are some of the upcoming uh, projects that you're working on? Well, the, the title of, of the concept, I should say, is The Fighting While Wounded. And what we're going to do is integrate some of the other songs off of the first CD and believe, God, that this is really going to be uh, uh, a gift to God mm -hmm. this time out. And really take our time and pick quality. We mm -hmm. I got quality uh, producers, I should say, mm -hmm. that's helping us with doing this. And and it's in God's hands. Once yeah. we get, once we do what we're supposed to do with Him, trusting us with the music, trusting us with the concepts, then God, here it is. Yeah, yeah. It's an yeah. offering. Yeah. Now, as you go through this, because you know, from a human standpoint. You know, we're in the entertainment industry, and then this this industry is sort of based on hustle, 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 right. hustle. You right. got to do this. You have to be in the right place. You have to right. meet the right people. Right. How do you balance that out between doing your part and then allowing God to do His part? How does that work for you? Like you, like you stated earlier, Cliff, uh, God has really have us had has us focusing in on a balance with both the music and ministry and what what's happening and the more we focus in on the ministry part the word part what god's trusting us with the music doors seem to open up just like being here with you that's awesome so it's through the word that god has us come with through the songs and of course speaking and teaching the word how god just opened those knows the best way like we had talked about mm -hmm. in in the green room it's, it's just a matter of god if it's not if it's a door that even if i want to go through this door. If it's not what you want me to be doing at that particular time, then shut it so I don't waste God's time or mine. And I said that's an excellent point in that for all of you aspiring artists, if you're godly people, Jesus. let God do his thing and let him open doors. There are opportunities waiting for you that you don't even know exist. Amen. But if you're patient right. and let God do his thing, I promise you, he'll put you in positions that you could have not even dreamed of. Amen. Amen. All right, that's our show. I told you Thank it goes you. fast. Oh, God bless. We've yeah. got to get out of here. Our thanks to Dr. Lewis, our thanks to the studio guys, our thanks to Lady D, my producer, Amen. who I love Amen. so Amen. much, Amen. and our our thanks to our, our guests, Wayne and Sheila Arnold. Yes, we appreciate you guys thank being you. here. Thank We're coming back it. with you, and you're going to be singing something. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> loves me something. Okay. Amen. <laughs> We've got to go. Uh, as the crawl goes up, if you want to write us, email us, call us. Uh, let us know that you've seen the show, what you think about it. Let us know if it encourages you. All of that good stuff. We love you. We thank God for you, and we'll see you next time. God bless. Amen. Amen.